It's Megan, Georgia Girl Stitching here on YouTube and on Instagram. It is a Monday, December 12th, but sadly, this is not Fosmas number 12. Uh, last week just got so crazy and so busy and so unfortunately, I wasn't able to film in the afternoons, but this week is looking to be at least a little less insane for me personally um, in the afternoons, so hopefully we can get back on track a little bit here. Um, thank you so much to those who are returning and thank you so much to those who are checking me out for the first time. Appreciate all of you being here. This month of content is incredible and there are so many videos out there. So thank you so much for choosing mine right now. Um, I have a fun one today. I hope that you find fun. The next, I feel like the next real big event that I've been hearing about is the 12 by 12 New Year's Eve. Um, put on by Kia B and Pam from Just Keep Stitching. And a lot of people are getting excited about that. I participated in it last year and loved it and plan on participating again this year. So I thought today I would show you all the projects that I plan to work on during that time. If you've never heard of it, basically on New Year's Eve, you start at noon your time, whenever that is. Um, technically the event starts at noon Eastern time, but the idea is that you start or work on a project one hour every hour for 12 hours. So it gets you like to noon to New Year's. And so you have originally the idea was that you started 12 projects that day. Um, Kia started it for herself and then it became an event. And you start an out one project every hour and you have 12 new projects by the time midnight strikes. So uh, last year I was in central time zone, which is one hour behind Eastern. And so I actually did 13 projects. So I started at 11 a.m. central time, which was noon for Kia and Pam. And then I had like a new year's start on at midnight. So that's how I still like incorporated the time frame. Um, and they'll do like a couple lives and Kia does a whole video, or I think she did, she did it. Now I'm not, I've watched all her videos and they all run together now. She did a video talking about it. Um, whether that was in her whip parade or she's going to do another video talking about it. I'm sure it'll be all over her social media as well as Pam's. So if you have any questions, you know, feel free to comment below or reach out to Kia or Pam. Um, but they'll definitely be posting like kind of their schedule and when they plan to do Instagram lives and stuff like that. But I'm really excited about it. We, um, we don't really have, we don't usually have big plans to New Year's Eve because that's, not, I mean, we usually do a lot for Christmas and then um, New Year's Eve is when college football playoffs are going on. So there's a lot of football watching in the house, but not usually a lot of partying in that out of the house since. So last year I participated. Um, also last year, David had to work on New Year's Day. So, and I have to work on the second. We both have to work on that Monday. So, you know, we just kind of keep quiet and celebrate the new year kind of here at home. And so last year I did it. Last year I did start 12 new projects. And while that was a ton of fun, I am trying to whittle down my whips, not explode my whips. So this year. So what I, she was talking about on her video, there's going to be team whips and team new starts. And so um, team new starts, you know, they do all new projects and then team whips where you work on a different whip for every hour. I'm going to do what I call team half and half. <laughs> um, I'm going to do like and it's not exactly half and half, but half new starts and half new project, half new starts and half whips. So basically, um, I'm going to do, if I have not worked on the project that I started last year on New Year's Eve, then I'm going to work on it again during that same hour that I started it last year. If I have worked on it this year for a significant amount of time, or finish it, then I got to replace that hour with a new start. So kind of like, kind of half and halfing it. Um, and so I still get some fun new starts that I want to start, but I also get to work on some of the whips that like most of some of these, I literally have not touched in a year and they have 45 minutes of work on them. <laughs> so they need some attention. So that's kind of how I'm going to incorporate that into it. Um, so yeah, so these are kind of the whips that and new starts that I'm planning to work on. Um, and I'll kind of do them in order mostly of how I plan to do them. So for my first one, my, so my first one's actually going to be a new start. It was a finish for me last year. 
Um, and it's actually going to be, and I'll post up a picture, uh, the Shire from Country Magic Stitch. I really wanted to, David really, I mean, he's a huge Lord of the, Lord of the Rings fan. And um, when Country Magic Sticks came out with this series, he basically wants all of them. So I'm going to start with the Shire. <laughs> Seems, you know, the proper, the proper pattern. So to start with, and I'm going to do that on 22 count white heart anger. And then these are the colors for the most part. So because, as I'll talk about later, this is a combo with another pattern that has a lot of colors that overlap. So for the first one is the Shire that uses most of these, um, or I should say at least half of them. So that's kind of the overall color combo and you'll have seen the picture. So I'm gonna start that at noon on New Year's Eve. And then at one is gonna be a, I'm gonna work on the one that I worked started at one last year, and that is Ricoli de Natale by Alessandra Adelaide. This uh, chart and fabric were a gift from Susan and Lenny at Keepsakes to me. So this is the chart. I do not have the bead yet. I still need to get that. Um, and then one of the colors it's hard to tell. So in the picture, it looks like it's all done in white, but actually like this and some of the spirally parts is done in a purple. And I'm not, which is hard to like tell in the chart, but I'm not too keen on that. So when I get to that point in a million years, I might reconsider and maybe do like um, a sparkly like Krynik or something or petite treasure braid, which are also called for, but more as like backstitch. So I don't totally have this kitted technically, um, but I have enough to start. And this is done on 40 count um, Lagoon by I believe it's White Heart. And this is as far as I got. And this I have not worked on since it was started a year ago. And these, um, when I do my proper whip parade, everything will be ironed. Things were not ironed for this one, but they will be in the future. Uh, and better lighting, hopefully. The weather is not great today, but I wanted to get this out. So, not very far, not too impressive. <laughs> right now, that's, that's accurate. That's the, that's the fabric color. It's this gorgeous blue. I love this fabric. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're starting from. It's exactly in the center, so. Um, so we'll keep working on that. And then the next one is, I have worked on this one this year for a good amount of time, but my goal for this one, spoiler alert, my goal for this one for next year is to finish it. So I'm still gonna work on it during 12 by 12 because I want to finish it next year. Um, and that is Celebrate 4th of July by Madame Chantilly. I love these trays so much. Um, eventually want to do most of them. And so this one you've seen relatively recently because I worked on it 4th of July this year. This is done on 40 count raw. And this is how far I've gotten so far. It's stiff, just see through. Um, and I am changing the reds to uh, a twal, um, 816. So, oh yeah, you can see that sparkle pretty well. So the red will be all a toile. And then there might be some places where the white, I might do white a toile as well, depending on some of the places in the pattern. But the tray itself is completely done and then USA, so. So you can kind of see. So goal is to get this completely done next year. But that's where we're starting for NYE. And the next one's also gonna be a new start. Uh, at three will be a new start, and that is Love by uh, Stitches Lovers Shop from Etsy. I'll link it down below. I'm actually gonna change it. So this is the original chart. And then this is my uh, rechart and how I'm gonna do it. This is a gift for uh, one of my bridesmaids in my wedding that's getting married in May. And so this is gonna be their wedding gift. And so as you can see, it's kind of a brown background. So I'm changing it to 40 count raw. And then in the original, the love is in brown. I'm changing it to white a toile. So this is actually the different colors. 
So that will be there. They have a they're having a um, venue barn wedding. Uh, and she said that the colors, it's going to be mostly white and greenery. She went like white drapes, white linens, everything's going to be white and then mostly greenery. There aren't, there's not like any specific flowers that she's going to have. It's a May wedding. So she's really hitting the greenery and the white. And it's kind of like more of a, not rustic, but like, um, I guess, yeah, I guess like a more of a rustic-y, chic rustic. I don't know. I don't know how to exactly describe it. I'm not involved in the planning. I'm just going off of what she's told me. Um, so this kind of fits that vibe that, you know, she's described to me. So that's getting started this year. And this is also going to be a goal to finish in January. So I can take it up to keepsakes to have it framed. Um, hoping that I'm able to go. And then nothing has been confirmed yet, so... Um, the next one that I'm going to be working on, next one's a whip that I started last year, uh, Celebrate Autumn by Madame Chantilly. And this one I have not worked on since I started it last year. And I'm doing this on 40 count mallow. And this is as far as I got. <laughs> so was he had. I mean, 45 minutes of work, but, um... Yeah, it needs some more love. <laughs> my plan is that when I finish 4th of July, this will be my next focus, like on a finish for the trees. Um, well, I say that. Yeah, it is. So this would be my next like to be finished, um, like the following year. And then the next one um, is another whip, which I have not worked on since I started it last year, and that is Cottage Garden Sampling Forever and Ever. Just love this piece so much. Um, the Cardinals, this was part of her Songbird Garden series, and the first one of hers that I fell in love with. And I'm doing this on 40 count, no, 32 count Vintage Stormy Night. And I started in the middle with the word love. And you kind of see, has that nice like modeling. It's like supposed to be vintage country mocha, but gray. And so I started with the, the L. And this one I'm doing kind of a combo with the called for overdies and the DMC. Not all of it's going to be the overdies. Some of it's going to be. And then I've also changed out... Um, it calls for a red pear, and I'm planning to change that to country cottage. Oh no, um, goodness. Uh, classic Colorworks barn door is the red that I'm going to be changing. But we're nowhere near that. <laughs> That's just where we're currently <laughs> at. And then the next one is another whip that I, again, have not worked on since I started it at Last year, um, this was super popular and uh, still is, um, but so many people have finished it and I've barely started it. And that is another cottage garden sample is the fox. She is just so magnificent to me. Um, and I started in the middle with her. This is on 40 count Nocturne by Picture This Plus. It is not the most enjoyable fabric to work on. So, I'm going to, this, okay, let me show it to you. This is where I'm at. Did not get very far. I did not super duper enjoy the very limited time I worked on this. So, I mean, gorgeous. The fabric is so pretty. I mean, that's pretty accurate. Maybe a little bit bluer than grayer, like it's showing up. But it, the picture this plus tight weave really, shows itself on 40 count, <laughs> you know, like it does on other counts people have talked about. But I mean, it, 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 the white pops really well. So I'm gonna give myself another essential, I keep saying 45 minutes because like once you actually like switch out the cue snaps, get settled, go to the bathroom, drink something, you're really working like 45 minutes during the actual hour. So at least that's how it worked out for me last year, I should say. So I, I'm gonna give myself one more hour on this I don't enjoy it this year I'm gonna do something different um, but I'm willing to commit another another round <laughs> and we'll see how it goes 
This next one I want to get back to so bad and I'm excited to spend a little more time on as well is Woodland Wonder by Glendon Place. It's just so magnificent. This one is also not fully, fully kitted up, but it's kitted up enough to work on. And I actually, for this one, started in the corner. I wanted to get this border part started. And I'm doing this one on 32 count picture this plus oaken and that's as far as I got <laughs> not very far uh so excited to continue working on that border this year um wonderful needle miner from stitchy linda that I still love so yeah I love this one when um, Candace K finished hers, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get to this. Hers hers is the first one I've seen. I'm not technically in person because I've not seen it in person, but fully stitched and it just showed even more. Like these pictures do not do Glendon Place justice. Like the Glendon Place patterns, the pictures just do not do them justice. It is gorgeous. Um, the next one is absolutely pathetic how little I have done concerning how long ago I started it. This one was a new year's start for 2021. So almost two years ago, I started Shores of Hawker and Hollow, which I have been in love with ever since I saw the model at Keepsakes. And I'm doing the DMC con you know, conversion, not the uh, NPI. This was a gift um, from Jen before I left Keepsakes, or not Keepsakes, before I left Cincinnati. And I, I love this so much and I've barely put any work into it. It's on 32 count raw, 32 count platinum, 32 count platinum. I have my list over here, sorry. 32 count platinum and this is all I have. <laughs> oh, so, need some serious work. And I, my goal next year is to, is to put some serious effort into this one, so. Um, at least get one block done, right? <laughs> so I've started the lighthouse <laughs> on the first block. So that's where we're at. It will, it will get worked on. It's gonna be, I think I started this before I fell in love with 40 count. And I think in the past, like if I had, if I was gonna start this now, I would have done it on 40 count. And I've contemplated since I technically have so little done, do I just restart it on 40 count? And I'm still thinking no, because I just, I want it to be big. Like I want it to be, I mean, this fabric, this fabric's cut to size on 32 count. I mean, it's a <laughs> heck of a piece. I mean, it's a heck of a piece. So I, I mean, the square is, you know, almost the size of my head. So I, I want it to be, I want it to be big. Um, so I think I'm still gonna, I think I'm gonna stick with it, but I need to put some effort into it. So that will be at 8 p.m. So that'll be nice to get, it'll just be block stitching as we start getting into the evening. 8 p.m. is also when the UGA game starts against the Ohio State. So um, super excited about that game. And then the next one is gonna be a new start, sort of. It's a part two of this, well, I guess technically it's part one. Um, this is Autumn in Stars Hollow from Black Needle Society. This was gifted to me from Mel of Hope Stitches. Uh, thank you so much. So I started summer with Shelly um, last month. And so my, this is gonna be, this is right next to summer. So I already have half of the gazebo and now I'm just gonna, this will be the other half and kind of get this one finished. Um, and get this at least started and then we'll go back to focus on summer because in April spring comes out. So I want to have, have them in a row, but I want to go and get this one started. Uh, I will only have the DMCs. I don't have the, um, over dies yet for any of these patterns, but I'm doing this on 40 count Ophelia from color and cotton. And that's where we're at. This is the summer side. So all I have, but you can see the half of the gazebo, the other half is gonna come right in from autumn. But yeah, let's get the color fabric. 
The Needle Miner came in the summer box back in June. That's where we're at. So technically like nothing with autumn yet, but I have a very clear, I don't have to figure out where to start. <laughs> I have a very clear obvious way to start. Okay, and then the next one is gonna be a continuation. Technically this next one's my last, is my 12th one. So this one is going to take me up to midnight of, um, of 2022 and lead us into 2023. And this is hands-on design, let's talk stitching. I am changing the green. So these greens are very like yellowy greens and I like green greens. Um, so I changed the greens to 905 and 906. And I'm doing this on 40 count aqua. And that's where we're at. <laughs> this was also the piece I started at 11 p.m. last year. And this was, I think, I think this is where, I, yeah. Um, it's as far as I got. I just love this aqua fabric, it's so pretty. Now I would be remiss if I didn't say, there's another piece that I started last year on aqua fabric that I have decided to abandon temporarily. Um, I started Falling Snow by Shannon Christine Designs and I'll put a picture of it here, of the, the finish. And you see that blue fabric? I want that piece on that blue fabric. And the closest thing I could get at the time last year was this aqua. So I started it, I have literally one row of white. <laughs> it's, you know, just a row of white at the top of that sky. And so I started it on this aqua and I looked at it, I haven't touched it since then. And I pulled it out when I was trying to figure out my 12 by 12 plans. It's just not, it's just not what I want. I want that, that deeper blue that the, mock-up shows. I want that kind of more ocean, more turquoise blue than this light aqua because I just don't feel like the white shows up enough. Um, I think it will be okay like for this pattern because there's going to be a lot of color around and the white does show up. It's just that piece is mostly white. So I want the white to really pop and I just, I just, it's just not what I'm, it's just not the look I'm going for. So I've abandoned that fabric and I'm waiting until I can find the right piece of fabric to start that on. Um, it is not a priority of mine for next year. So I don't know if I go somewhere and that piece of fabric falls in my lap, I'll purchase it and I'll, um, you know, add it to the kit list, but I'm not like actively hunting that right now. Um, I almost, I mean, I, I might get, I might, if I can get enough done next year, that might be a one that I start 12 by 12 for next year, like kind of restart it for a 12 by 12. And I don't know, I might even have to like see if someone can dye me a piece of fabric that that's that close to that color. Cause it's just, it's so pretty. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of, but I just, since that's part of the 12 by 12 last year, I feel like I needed to mention it here. I'll mention it again during my whip breaks. It's technically a UFO. Um, I'm going to pull out that white and use that aqua for something else because the white does, does show it's just not enough for a piece that's mostly white. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then my last piece. So at midnight of last year, I started all Lang sign from hello from Liz Matthews. This was my, um, this was my 13th whip last year. And so I'm considering you know, trying to fit this in next year or this year as well. Um, yeah, I'm considering fitting this in. So basically last year I did an extra hour on the front end where I started at 11 instead of 12. And this year I'm considering doing an extra hour on the back end and so like at midnight. So this is what I started at midnight last year. No. Yeah, this math. Yeah, so this would, I would work on this again at midnight this year, but work on it until one. I guess I technically started this one at 11 last year. Oh, I have to go back and look now. The math for some reason, I need more coffee today. Um, <laughs> it was an early morning. Uh, yeah, so basically my point is I might do this for like 
to kind of solidify. Because I also want to finish this one next year, like early next year. So I'll show you where I'm at. This is on 28 count Crystal Helix, but I'm doing it a one over one. I don't exactly remember where I got this piece of fabric from. I got this really early in my keepsakes time. Like well, shortly after I found keepsakes, I acquired this fabric and I don't remember how. So, um, but I'm super glad I did, but it was a very specific like cut, like it surged on all the sides. Um, but I didn't buy it cause I don't, I know I didn't buy it. So I don't know where this exactly came from, but I'm doing this one over one and I changed it and I'm using uh, gentle art midnight and this is where we're at. So 28 count crystal helix. Can I see that sparkle? Yeah. And it's this gorgeous blue variegated. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get with this lighting. You'll see it again in my whip parade, hopefully with better lighting too, and you can get a better view. But, but yeah, that's where I'm at. According to Pattern Keeper, I am 33% there. So I'm already a third of the way there. So we'll see how much further I can get. I'm, this is all, the reason it's on a cue snap, you might be thinking. Um, I am working on it this week. This is my focus this week as well, is to see how far I can get. I, I didn't really have a plan for December stitching and this, this piece was just kind of calling to me this week. So I decided to pull it out and I started it yesterday. So I did this last night. <laughs> uh, this, I had finished this because I started this on New Year's Eve I guess New Year's Day, technically. And then, um, no, New Year's Eve. And then I um, worked on it like that the first week of January and then put it away after I finished all of it and started working on my other projects. Um, so then last night I was able to get this part done. So it's, I think it'll go pretty quick. It was teeny tiny little stitches. One over one on 28 count. Big fan. I really like it. I mean, I definitely have plenty of like, <laughs> I think I wish I had like spaced it on the fabric a little bit better because I'm going to have a ridiculously huge margin all the way around it, but that's okay. I didn't have any other like thoughts for this fabric. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's, we'll see if I get to that. I might by midnight, I might be like, I'm out. <laughs> uh, I'll work on it tomorrow. So uh, at least we'll be worked on around two years Eve. Or I might work on it in the morning. I don't know. I don't know. But, but yeah, but those are all of my 12 by 12 projects. I am in the order that all, well, oh, I forgot one. Oh no. Okay. Sorry. This is what happens when I don't have them in the exact order that I'm going to work on them. I'm remiss to mention that, um, one of the fabrics that, uh, or one of the pieces that I'm going to also work on is after Shores of Hawker and Hollow. After, I have it in front of me too. I can't believe I skipped over it. Between Shores of Hawker and Hollow and Autumn and Stars Hollow, I'm going to be starting this pattern, which is Rivendell by Country Magic Stitch on the same fabric, 22 count white hardinger with this color pattern. <laughs> so this, all of these colors, this is a combo of the Shire and of Rivendell. So that's kind of the, um, because quite a few of them overlap and they're going to be in the same, um, and they're going to be in the same bag. I just kind of put them all together. <laughs> uh, so that's partly why I didn't realize, but I'm not starting them right after one another, but okay. Anyway, rambling. Um, so yeah, so those are my 12 by 12 pieces. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, you know, feel free to comment below or message me on Instagram. I am super excited for this again with Kian, Pam, and everyone else who's jumping in. Um, I've seen a lot of buzz about it on Instagram, so I hope you're able to join in, even if it's just for working on one piece, you know, one point on New Year's Eve. I know everyone has kind of a different level of celebration on that day, so hopefully you're able to get some stitching in that day and kind of ring in Bring in the new year, new year of stitching, new year of goals, all our hopes and dreams. <laughs> um, I know 2023 is going to be a crazy year for us. So, um, so yeah, so that's kind of my plans right now. Um, I will be doing a whip parade here soon, a finished parade. 
a normal floss tube because <laughs> I know some people like kind of also just skip over all the floss misses and just watch normal floss tubes. So I will be doing kind of a, it's gonna be a long one, but accumulation floss tube of all, you know, that I've been stitching this month and all of that. Um, uh, just one piece of business. The end of last week, I did release the pattern of the paw with the heart. Uh, I call it paw on my heart. Um, it's on my Gumroad page now. I'll put a picture of it here so you can see. Um, I talked about it in one of my previous videos and that chart is officially released. It only has like the official chart for the green colorway, but all of the colors are listed in the key. So you can still kind of pick and choose based on the other patterns. So it still all fits together. There's just not nine charts like there are in the other ones. Um, but yeah, but if you have any questions about that or any you know custom things that you need or want help with, let me know. Um, I think that's all the business. I'm super behind in floss too right now. Um, watching, <laughs> like I said, last week was insane. And I think that's it. So I might, um, I'm gonna plan to film more this week, but I'm not committing to any kind of schedule. <laughs> Uh, this is a big week for us, uh, for David's career. So, which I'll talk about more when we know more. But as of right now, we're just kind of in a waiting game. And I think that's enough rambling for me for today. So, thank you all so much for all of your continued support and encouragement and all the wonderful things. And, and if you have anything, just let me know. Happy stitching, friends. Bye.